Hey guys, how we doing? I am sitting outside Ranger Stop and Pop here in Atlanta on day one. There's a lot of awesome stuff going on this year. They've got a whole floor to themselves. The floor is broken apart into three separate things this year. We have the exhibitor room, the artist alley, and exhibition halls. So there's all kinds of awesome stuff going on. I'm going to do my best to show all of it to you. Uh, we've even got our own booth this year, and we've even got a panel. So. Join me, will you? Let's get to it. Friends made it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Very cool. Hey guys, that's a wrap on day one for me. I'm getting ready to go back to the room. We had a lot of fun with the cool toys and things like that. Um, shot some cool footage for you guys to see. Can't wait for you guys to be checking it all out. We're getting ready to start day two in just a few seconds. For me, I got a whole night to rest. Here we are, guys. So, day we two. Are. We're at the table. What's up, guys? Who's there. Jason's there. Agents there. Hey, I got the ninja jump. I'm a Jetty's now. there. Everybody's just kind of all hanging out. It's more for John. Tears just kind of like right off camera. Uh, we've had a great day so far. A lot of Amazing stuff going on, on the table. Um, some awesome people, awesome costumes, a lot of pictures that have probably been rolling around for you to see. Uh, Gold found me this amazing light speed rescue team that he brought to the table, uh, just kind of chilling, and uh, up next should be our panel, yeah. I believe. Yeah, you guys will be seeing snips of the panel here and there, um, some of the kind of highlights and stuff like that, so we're not going way over. All right, but uh, see you guys in a second. Hey there guys, my name is Sparta Green Ranger on all my socials, but my real name is Justin Blumgren. I know that's a weird last name, uh, please forgive me, it's what I was born with. But uh, I'm a toy reviewer, cosplayer, and uh, comic book aficionado. I spent about the last 10 years running in my own gaming store and comic shop up until recently. And uh, now I uh, dedicate when I'm not working full time to Power Rangers. Well, my favorite season of Power Rangers is Power Rangers Jungle Fury. I think that's just by far the greatest piece of storytelling that Power Rangers has ever done. 
But I have to agree with Tia, my favorite ranger just on pure comedic is Ziggy. I agree, I agree. <laughs> Hey guys, here we are at BD15's table at Ranger Stop Atlanta 2023 and I was really excited because this year they actually had the Zord labels for some select Zords here uh, which was fantastic. I've been looking to get these for a long time. Um, the process is really really good. These are highly recommended by a lot of people and I can't wait to show you them on the channel coming soon. How are we doing, guys? I'm here with a putty. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, the putties are taking over. I'm gonna go take care of this one real quick, and we'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, you better run. Hey guys, I am here with the amazing and wonderful Tier Arkham House from TikTok. He is wearing his custom Psycho White, and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about it, and then we're going to ask some questions and stuff like that. So, if you want to run, through us, run, through it, run us through it real quick, sure. my English word. Uh, Psycho White comes from where originally it was going to be a Psycho Gold Ranger, and as my, my skill with helmet building got a little bit better, I decided, well, what if I just did my own Psycho Ranger? So, I did Psycho White, and I left some of the gold in place to kind of give an old homage to what it once was. Nice. Now, I know, like, a little bit of background, you do automotive painting, right? That's correct. So, yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see it that well in camera, but there is beautiful detail, and I'll get some up-close shots that you guys can see right here. But, man, this is nice, clean, smooth, detailed paint. The pauldron is fantastic. I, I mean, I, I gotta say. So, alrighty, well, that is his suit, but let's learn a little bit about Tyr himself. So, Tyr, where did you kind of get your start with... Um, coming on TikTok and becoming a big member of the Ranger community. Well, uh, I started in September 2019, and originally I thought about doing Star Wars. I was on the Star Wars thing, but I saw so much of it, I thought I would just, I would just get lost in it. So I decided to uh, start seeing cosplayers like you guys and Wade Cosplay and some of them, and I thought, what if I do Power Ranger lore? And I uploaded my very first lore of uh, Rita Bandora. Nice! Fantastic! Well, I mean, I know myself, I kind of started off with TikTok. I was I was a different kind of guy. I, I had my nerd store, so kind of nerd store comedy. I was trying to make people laugh through doing funny skits and stuff like that. So, uh, but I know like our community is very thankful to have you as a member. We all look to you for a lot of lore and all those fantastic options. And then I know, uh, well, what else are you doing now? Like besides just kind of, I know you kind of got your professional TikTok page, but you've also got your other one. So you want to run them through that a little bit and tell them what you're doing with that? Sure. Uh, normally what I do is I've been able to pair up with certain video game ads. Currently it's AFK Arena. And I defaulted to a personal TikTok account. Uh, I'm also on Instagram and I do Power Rangers behind the scenes where I don't necessarily talk about the Power Ranger characters, but the actors to let people know what they're doing in their life or maybe certain things they did on set, you know, just to kind of give you guys almost like a Q&A type of experience when you come to a con. And uh, normally what I do is I'm currently working on doing a re-up with my wife. We're getting a lot of armor, a lot of weaponry, and things like that. And uh, you guys will be invited. If you guys want to make the trip to South Carolina, yeah. Sounds great. Well, well actually, before we before we actually get into some up-close shots, I do want to bring Miss Tier on so she guys can see her uh, amazing Andromeda. So I'm going to step out of frame and let you guys see her real quick and then maybe talk about that for a second. <laughs> so, here we have our happy couple, Miss Tear and Tear, 
This Andromeda is fantastic. The staff is really nice. I see there's a signature here as well. That is Kyle Higgins. So Kyle Higgins, awesome. Uh, Kyle Higgins, if you guys don't know, is one of the original writers for our new uh, Power Rangers comics, and he's been doing a fantastic job with it. Uh, but Astronema, Queen of Evil, her own custom Psycho Ranger to rule the galaxy together as two amazing people should. Thank you guys so much for coming on the channel and uh, we're gonna get some up close stuff for people to see it. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Hey guys, we are back with another interview. We have the amazing, the wonderful, the beautiful Beauty Baba Yaga. And Beauty has got our very first Cosmic Fury Red Ranger suit. And it is looking fantastic. I'm gonna let her tell you some stuff about it because she's done it in her traditional beauty fashion. Um, I, yeah, I never learn how to do anything from the internet, so I make everything uh, however it makes sense in my brain. I've never made anything as big as the shoulder armor before, and I know a lot of people make it completely out of foam and use certain glues and adhesives, but I didn't really trust my ability to glue something together and have it not just pop apart while I was walking around at the convention. So this is a fabric base that I sewed, and then I added foam on top of it and um, hot glue to make the more detailed parts, and I spray painted the whole thing. And then I couldn't pack it in my suitcase because of how delicate it is, so I had to like carry it on the plane like it's my child. I'm like, this is my baby, this is my six month old. I can have this in my lap, right? Yes. The little girl next to me thought it was really weird. <laughs> well, I can tell you it looks fantastic though to say the Thank least. You. Um, and that is the very least. It looks really, really good, to be honest. But it is done in beauty fashion. But what have you been doing in the last year? So we've, we've been seeing some more custom content from you on, on TikTok. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I think that my desire to cosplay is snowballing in a sort of unhealthy fashion. Started out with like, I'll do something simple once every couple months. And now it's like, I'm going to work on five things at the same time. And they're all detailed sewing projects with, you know, iron on and fabric paint and foam building and my sewing machine was just out like in the middle of my room for two months and I had to walk around it anytime I did anything um, yeah I've just been making a lot of cosplays and I'm always really happy when I finish them but it's a bit of a, a chaotic process in my life um, but I wouldn't have it any other way I love making cosplays so. fantastic well of course you can have you guys can always find her on TikTok at Beauty Bobby Yaga on TikTok but there's also also an Instagram, which is also at Beauty Baba Yaga, yes. and a YouTube, which is at Beauty Baba Yaga. Yes, so definitely go subscribe to all of those pages. Beauty, thank you so much once thank again. You. We love you here at the channel, and we will see you in a little while. All right. So we all know this is not a Ranger stop and pop. Oh, my helmet's backwards. I'm a professional person. Rewind. <laughs> Cut. And let's try again. Actually, I'm just going to leave it all in like I always do. Because I'm lazy. Because we're real here. Yeah, we are real. Real people having real fun in real spandex. But again, it is not Ranger Stop or Ranger Stop and Pop without us getting some time with the Jim Kelly. Jim, have you had a great weekend? Oh, I had a fantastic weekend. I mean, it's just only just started. It's day two. Yeah. Day two, and it's been a, such a oh. fantastic experience. And I'm. Uh, I have no idea. My, my brain just went like blank for a second because I'm having such a good, having such a good time. There's right. way too much. There's way too much going on and I'm I'm dead. I'm losing my mind. Well, this is the first time we've actually interviewed together, both being in a cosplay. You know that, right? Normally you're running around in your 80s and I'm just in street clothes at this point. So 
Yeah. What? I'm sorry. Yeah, you zoned out again. <laughs> this is the first, first time we've actually no, been yeah. in costume I, I was together. listening. I was messing with you. No. So, yeah, first time that we've been in costume together. I don't usually cosplay much at cons anymore. Uh, but So you caught me in a, a very rare occasion that I am showing off my assets in, uh, yeah. in tight spandex. There you go. Dang. Dang. You gotta pay for that. He gets he gets it free because he's paying me to be on this interview. Yeah. So. so yeah. <laughs> later. Later. <laughs> so now that you all are done drooling though, Jim, this is the first time you put your uh, ninja steel blue. Actually, yours is uh, from Sentai, right? Yeah, I've, uh, I've I've had this suit for like uh, I've had this suit since 2018. This is it's been a long time since I put it on though. It's probably been like two years since I've worn it. Um, but yeah, and it's it's still holding up great. I mean, I did have one little more wardrobe malfunction earlier. Uh, we're, we're gonna ruin the illusion, but my uh, my cuffs broke, so I had to make do with what I had. Thankfully, here at the cosplay station, we were actually able to help them out and jump them. Really. It's true. It's true. It's one of the one of the great things of what you guys are doing. But, but yeah, so I know next on my docket is going to be going back down to Orlando in November. I'm taking a nice long relaxation until mm -hmm. November um, and get back into it again. Um, but for you, I think you're the next Dragon Con. Probably. I, I, I will be at Dragon Con. I, just, uh, do, I, I do way too many of these cons. I don't know what order. Yeah, I, I don't remember the schedule at this point. But that's really it with Jim this time, guys. We will see you later. Hey, Whoa. special cameo. Look at special this. Cameo. I love it. We actually got a uh, Lost Galaxy shooting into frame. So, like I said, staying in, we're keeping it real. Hey guys, here we are, last day of the show, and doing some interviews and shooting some more B-roll footage, and uh, let's get to it. We are here with Matt Brown. Matt Brown. Matt has made an amazing Zio Ranger 2 yellow. Now, I got to see this cosplay in Orlando originally. Um, have you seen any updates to it since you were in Orlando? I have not. This has held up beautifully. Good deal. Um, honestly, the quality, I was beyond excited for it, loved it. Um, it's about time to do a little little touch up, but okay. no, I, it, that, that was the second time I got to wear it. Yeah. It, phenomenal, phenomenal, I love now, this. Now, you're talking about the maker, he's a newer maker. Though. He is, um, I did some research, I found him straight off of Facebook on the groups of Power Rangers and uh, Banana Cosplay Studios. Banana Cosplay Studios. Could not say more things better about them. The experience, short, sweet to the point, it was very communicative, and did an amazing job. All right. I, like, I was so excited. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to get you guys a 360 of him in the suit so you ask to see it. Where can they find you on your socials? I'm actually Blue Ranger 07 on Instagram, and that's linked right up to my Facebook. So. All righty. Well, hopefully that'll help get you some traction. And oh, I'd love to. Hopefully in Orlando. I will be there. I'm from there, so I will be All there. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Welcome back. I've got an amazing treat for you. Some of you might know this amazing person right here. This is Brad <laughs> Hawkins. Uh, for fans of VR Troopers and Power Ranger Zio, he was the original voice uh, for the Gold Ranger. Yep. And then he was our one of our main actors for VR Troopers. But your uh, voice acting career goes a lot further beyond that, <laughs> though, doesn't it? it? It well, it started. I mean, I guess my first character voice would have been the Gold Ranger Zio because yeah. they didn't have the actor uh, figured out for that series just yet, and I happened to be in the vocal booth doing VR Troopers at the time. So they were like, hey man, can we just, you know, can you just fill in the voice for this? We were getting it all worked out for the uh, character. Well, this episode airs in like a week or two. So we just need to, we need the voice. And uh, everybody, they were like, nobody's going to know it's you. And it was just, I was like, everybody found out it was me. <laughs> so we, um, but it, at that point it was like, I think that was my first character voice, you know, that wasn't VR Troopers. So my voiceover career kind of started with the, uh, with the Gold Ranger and then, once I got back to Texas, um, Funimation is right down the street from my house. 
So I ended up with Funimation probably 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. And uh, just, I mean, when you're with those producers and working with those guys so tight and all those uh, voice actors, you end up getting in the mix with them. And so they know if they're looking for a guy with this voice, with that raspy kind of, you know, voice, then uh, I was one of the go-to guys. So yeah, but Funimation and uh, Crunchyroll have been taking care of me for 20 oh, years. The, the list is long, guys, but uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people more recently, I know My Hero Academia has been really big. Yeah. So can you kind of tell them who you're doing on My Hero? Well, I'm doing a bunch of voices on My Hero. Um, and I mean, it's like when we go in the studio, I'll have some shows that I am the lead on, like uh, Dr uh, Goblin Slayer. I'm the lead voice on Goblin Slayer, so you'll do that one. But we'll do it for probably, say, two or three hours. And then if I was booked for four hours, they'll take that other hour and just kind of put me in other shows who's looking for an extra voice on all these additional characters. So I usually get pulled into my hero for to do um, all the additional voices. Okay. Yep. Yeah. But I, I will. Um, kind of how does somebody get started in voice acting? Yeah, like that? I mean, I only know my, I only know how it happened for me and it was right time, right place. I had just moved back to Texas and my agent uh, was telling me that there was some voiceover work that if I've never done it, I should try it. And uh, since I had so much experience doing ADR for VR Troopers in the, in the past, uh, they were like, this is the same thing, three beeps and go, you know? So, I mean, I went in and I started doing Walla Sessions, you know, where it's a bunch of us in one group and doing big crowd reactions and stuff like that and eventually character voices and then you know they'll audition all the time for new series uh leads and the main characters and stuff and so just got over the years just worked my way up you know but maintained great relationships with the producers i was always on time i was always you know positive i just want to get the job done i don't want to be drama or anything like that so i think a lot of those guys are like brad's easy to work with and we're looking for a character with that voice so let's just let's just bring him in fantastic yeah well guys that's Brad. I'm going to let him tell, uh, tell you guys where uh, you can buy it, where they can find you at, what you can do, and uh, sure. what's next for you guys. Uh, well, my uh, my handle is uh, at Mr. Brad Hawkins, so Mr. Brad Hawkins on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Uh, so if you guys want to send me a message or stay in touch, that's that's where you can find me. Um, next up, I really don't know, man. My main business back in Texas is uh, I own some restaurants and uh, bars in the Dallas area. So that's just, that's what I'm doing on the daily. I just got a brand new daughter. She'll turn three in August. And so between dad life and, you know, restaurant guy, I'm pretty pretty jammed up. I get out here to do these things every now and then. I get that because this is being <laughs> recorded right now on Father's, on Father's Day. Day yeah. um, so happy Father's Day to the fathers yep. out there. My wife is actually over at the Tribute right now with Good. my three-year-old daughter gotcha. and my two-year-old Very cool. Son. Congratulations. So, That's awesome. But Brad, happy thank Father's you Day so to you. much. Happy Father's Day thank to you. Thank you very much. That's Brad Hawkins, guys. And uh, make sure you go check him out. I love you guys so much, and my dad loves each and every one of you guys. You can do anything you put your mind to. Let's celebrate his life and just make his legacy live on. He lives on through each and every one of you guys. I love you. You know what time it is? It's morning time. Hey guys, I think everybody know, knows this is. This is the amazing Emery Crouch, of course, our Princess Shayla from Power Rangers Wild Force. We love her so much. She's been doing these shows for a while now. It's been, been a big support, especially for Ranger Stop and Pop a lot and a bunch of other cons. Um, so, a couple of real quick, quick questions we've got for you. Uh, how did you really get kind of the role of Princess Shay? Okay, that's a full, that's a loaded question. So, as an actress in Los Angeles, my manager called to me, you have an audition for a show called The Power Rangers. I was like, oh, Awesome. It had been years and years since I'd seen anything on the Power Rangers on TV, so I went to a place called Blockbuster. I don't know if any of y'all remember. I remember. The old VHS. I just, I just aged myself. Yep. 
Me too. I do every time I tell the story. So I went to Blockbuster and I rented a couple Power Ranger shows. No, just to kind of watch and watch the vibe and the energy for a while. And I was going to be reading for the Yellow Power Ranger. So after I watched the show and got the, the energy of the show, I went to um, a department store and I bought a yellow shirt. You know, to wear the audition. So that they wouldn't have to imagine, oh, I like her, but what would she look like in yellow, right? Yeah. I just showed her. So I got a call back, another call back, and then maybe the fourth call back as they were just kind of dwindling down. Um, which, this, which is normal. For yes, this <laughs> yes, this kind of show, this took about six months of auditions. So I believe they started roughly 300 actors um, that they saw in person, and little by little, every callback, they would dwindle that number down. So about the fourth callback, they said they would like you to read for a role um, Toxica. So I said, okay. So I got the sides. Excuse me. I read for Toxica a couple times. And then after about a six month period, I found out I didn't read for Yeah. So that was about October, November-ish. And so I was, of course, disappointed because I'd been going back and back, just getting every callback mark. And then a couple months later, after the whole year was done, I didn't get the roll, my manager called and he said, how Rangers would like to hire you as Pizza Shayla? And I said, like, I had never auditioned for I only auditioned with Yellow and Toxica multiple times. But the producer just saw something, he saw a princess type for me. And um, so I flew back to LA the next day because I was in Florida with my family. And two days later I was on set filming the Power Rangers. So that's it. We're so happy it landed that way. I am too. That one decision, that one choice. Yeah, it changed my life. Well, we as the fans couldn't be happy to have such a great experience in the Ranger family. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, the next one for me is where can people find you now? What are you doing? Right. So, I'm a little more accessible now. My daughter's 17, so right after Power Rangers, I met my husband. I've had a child, and I've been a mom. So that's been my main thing. And then, a couple times a year, especially Ranger Pops, um, and the Rupert Pops, I would come out to conventions. So, now that she's getting older, going to be going to college soon, um, the thing I'm doing most right now is talent development. So I'm really helping the next generation of aspiring actors and models. Um, along their path, just to make it maybe a little smoother, a little less bumpy, you know, well, we with that experience. Because it, it's a hard world out there, guys, especially if you're trying to go down that, that line of being an actor or actress. Right. So. It's nice to have a mentor who's been there, done that, and can kind of help you on your journey. Just yeah, that's All right, well, where can they find you? Okay, so, I, you know what? I, I want to, and I need to post more on Instagram. So it really is Anne Marie Crouch. Okay. Is my Instagram. And I'd love to do like games and giveaways and stuff like that. And all my actor friends, they're like, yeah, you got to get more involved in the Instagram the community. So it's AnneMarieCrouch.com. And another one that I started up is on Facebook is Anne Marie Crouch Puts a Shape. Okay. So I try to give updates at least on theirs, but I'm going to get better about my social media. So you heard it there. It's Instagram, Amory Crouch, and then on Facebook, Amory Crouch, Princess Shayla. Those are the only two confirmed ones that we know that you can reach out to her from. All right? Right. And I'm gonna, yeah, I promise I'll be a lot better at responding and posting. <laughs> Miss Ann, thank you so much. Thank you for coming over to the table and spending a few minutes with us. Of course. And you have a fantastic question for sure. Uh, okay? You too. Thank you. Yay! with Tyler Odom. Tyler has been holding it down with some awesome cosplays, but I got to see this one in Orlando last year and finally got a chance, brought it with him this year to Atlanta. So we get to talk about it a little bit. This phantom suit is fantastic. Um, Tyler, if you just kind of want to go through the process real quick, how you came about with this phantom, uh, if there's anybody you want to shout out from people that have yeah, and stuff like yeah. that. Absolutely. So firstly, I'd say this is a commissioned cosplay. It was made by a guy, you can find him on Facebook, his name uh, is Wisnu Baggins. 
Okay, uh, Sako Studio. Sako Studio. I love Sako. I'm actually looking at getting a foam Green Ranger shield from Sako. Yeah. yeah. He does a lot of great work, and unlike some other people, I'm not going to say, he does it in really good time. Okay. So it only took about six months start to finish. And as you can see, there's so many little armor pieces that are connected to this. And for him to be able to make it in that amount of time was really, really great. Helmet too. Oh, yeah. As you can see, the oh, yeah. helmet. There's a little metal flake. Uh, you can't really see it, except for unless when we do some up close, is all that you see. There's a little metal flake in the paint right here for the black, which is really nice. This looks like, uh, so I'm the world's worst for touching on cosplay. I blame Adam Savage, it's his fault. Uh, but this is like a pleather type feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a rubbery spandex on the undersuit. Mm -hmm. It looks really well done. Um, I would like to have seen the ruby as a glowing ruby. Yeah. That's, that's the only problem I think. So that's the next thing that we're going to work on is I actually already a uh, shout out to oh, Dozier Studios. He's currently working on the ruby. It's going to be removable LED and it lights up. Nice. Now Dozier's actually a good friend of the channel. He's actually in a table right across the way as I'm just going to wave at him over there. So uh, we love Dozier. Um, you need to check him out. Uh, he's starting to make these con rounds again and stuff like that. So, uh, but Tyler, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, um, now you can look at the camera, tell them uh, where they can find you, what kind of socials you're on, stuff yeah. like that. So you can find me on Instagram at, at Prodigious Ranger. You can see other cosplays I've done as well. And one, I just, like I said, I love the Phantom Ranger. We still don't know who he is. And uh, you get to see some more pictures in action on uh, at Prodigious Ranger. All right, awesome. Well, since we know we've got some phantoms, I guess that means I'm going to have to go white and do some morphing out. Hey, guys, <laughs> I think we might know who we have here. Ethan Trace. What's going on, everybody? He's one of the bigger names there on the TikToks. Uh, I've been following for a while and just got followed back. Um, Ethan's been holding it down. We've been having some fun all weekend long. and. I uh, got special invited to the con this year, so absolutely, yeah. We started off, started off as an attendee in 2019, and they're, and they're like, "Can you come do the voices more often?" Like, and then following grew, and you know, eventually I got invited as a guest. And, and, uh, the Ranger community is one of my favorites. Uh, the Rangers are always great. Uh, Karen and Nakia work especially hard uh, to put this con on for us every year because they're like, we need to do some more Smiley Hunt besides our Wolf Con. I'm like, you know, you pick the perfect place to do it. But, you know, Atlanta and our community loves you guys. Oh, yeah. Well, we love, we love Ranger Stop and Pop. And, of course, I'm going to be back down for Orlando in November. Uh, we shall thanks, see if I can make it to Orlando. Yeah, thanks to Michael. He's already kind of told me, like, hey, we need you back now. I'm like, okay, fantastic. So that's Ethan. Of course, uh, Ethan, you can be found, I know for a fact, on TikTok, Instagram. T TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all Ethan Trace. All Ethan Trace. So check him out. He's hilarious, guys. And his voices are fantastic. His, his Lord Zed is just beginning. Mm. Ah, after 2,000 years of searching, you are finally within my grasp. There we have it, guys. Hey, you can you trace. Thank you so much, sir. Hey, thanks so much one. for having me. Thank you, sir. All right, hey guys. I'm here you. with David Fielding. Um, most people know him as Zordon. Um, my childhood, completely. Um, so, David, thank you so much for what you did on the show. Um, it meant a lot. I know to me as a child. I know to a lot of my viewers. Um, so, kind of, where did you find Zordon for you? Uh, where did I find him? Yeah, the inspiration were, for yeah. him? Or? Yeah, kind of inspiration. Sure. Uh, I mean, we were not, I was not given uh, a whole lot of information about the character during the audition. Um, uh, I was just told that he was a 10,000-year-old techno wizard who was trapped in a time war. And that was basically it. Uh, the audition was a little uh, odd because it was just me and another gentleman. And uh, he went to one corner of the room and I went to the other. And I could hear him rehearsing his take on the character, which was sounded to me more of a mad scientist kind of very uh, had much more of a uh, a different re uh, register in his voice. It was a little higher, uh, and I didn't quite get that impression from the lines that I was reading for the audition. I felt uh, Zordon was much more of a authority figure, somebody who was higher up. Uh, and so I reached back to some of my favorite inspirations when I was growing up as, as a kid, and that was from the Greek myths. And so I was thinking Zordon is very much like Zeus. He's up on this mountain and he's bestowing powers, 
So I tried to make my voice as deep as possible, and that's the that's the take they went. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so you guys have heard it there first. Now I, I know you're also an author now. I see some novels that you've written. And um, you want to tell, me, tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I've uh, written a series of novels called the Lincoln Bright series. They're paranormal and supernatural stories uh, detailing a, a man named Lincoln Bright who can see and hear things that other people can't, uh, things he calls limbs. Uh, and in the first book, he meets a young autistic boy named Petey Marks who can see and hear limbs as well as he can. And so he becomes a protector of Petey trying to defend him against a dark, apocalyptic group of magicians who are trying to end the world. Fantastic. Well, I'll definitely be, able, I'll definitely be picking those up. <laughs> um, are they major book retailers? Uh, you can find them on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Well, guys, that is David Fielding. Thank you so much for your time today. You're good. We appreciate you coming on the channel. Hey, guys. How we doing? We are here with Walter Jones, actor, musician, all-around amazing person. Uh, Walter, as we all know, was the original Black Power Ranger, and we are in our 30th anniversary of Mighty Morphin. Uh, Walter, um, can you please tell our viewers kind of how you got your start in Power Rangers and kind of where you're doing what you're doing now? Well, it was a uh, it was a process of auditioning. I had uh, an agent who sent me out on auditioning. I guess they were looking for somebody that had the talent to uh, one be an actor that could play a teenager. Two do martial arts, gymnastics, and dance, and kind of create their own form of martial arts in Paquita. Awesome. And so I went to the audition, and uh, right time, right place, right talents. Fantastic. Yeah. And now, I know you just recently released a song, kind of yes. some stuff that you're doing now. Uh, yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I just released a song called Dance. It's a, a, a song inspired by the fans because I love making people dance, I love people dancing with me, I love to dance in general. I think people say, how do you look so young? And I think dancing is what keeps me so young. Fantastic. Now, the last question I really have for you guys, uh, for you, is where can people find you and reach out to you? Uh, if you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, TikTok, all at Walter E. Jones. My YouTube channel is Walter E. Jones. You can see my video there for the first song I released, Dance. And, uh, you know, reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, there's also one other group that I do want to mention that you and Austin run together, though, yes. and that's Family. Yes. I'm a member of Fanwork, so also be checking out Fanwork as well. Yes, Fanwork is a, it's a one of a kind site. It's uh, where you get to uh, really interact with, your, with the people that you love, and we get to really interact with our fans. Right. Well, that's it from us. Thank you so much, Walter. We appreciate you. Hey guys. Thank you. I'm home from Atlanta. It was a long trip home. Tired, wore out, but it was a lot of fun. But first off, we need to get some thank yous out of the way to the entire Ranger squad. Man, there's a long list here. Gold, Kev, Tear, Beauty, Ninjetti, Agent, Jim, Everybody, thank you so much for having an amazing time with me and spending some time and us just having fun. The table went fantastic. Got a lot of amazing interviews as you guys saw. I know it was a kind of a different kind of experience that you guys are used to. Uh, I know I do a lot more free form on my video shooting and there's still a little bit of that there, but uh, I hope you enjoyed as well. Uh, I'm also gonna show some things that we picked up at the con for videos in the future, things we can review. Some things we're just going to show off, um, and then we're going to get into final thank yous. First off, I want to show off from the amazing Abraham, who's always at Ranger Stop and Ranger Stop Orlando, um, and then Ranger Stop Atlanta as well. Abraham signed this for me, and it is a Lightning Collection Gold Ranger. Thank you, Abraham. This was absolutely wonderful, and the interaction that you had with my daughter just made her day. She got to meet her favorite Gold Ranger from Power Rangers, uh, Beast Morphers. She's three years old, but Beast Morphers has easily became her favorite Power Ranger series, and Nate is her favorite Ranger. So thank you, Abraham, for this. Uh, this means a lot to us, and uh, I know it's going to mean a lot to her one day as well. So thank you, Abraham. We also got from Toe Collectibles the Game Driver from Kamen Rider x -Aid. This is an amazing driver. I can't wait to show this off. x is probably my top three favorite um, Kamen Riders. Uh, my top three 
I really can't put them in a list because they're all equally great for the same reason, whether it be Saber or Zero One or x I love, love, love this driver though and I can't wait to show you this because this has an amazing feature. I love the gimmick of how this works. It's so cool. So thank you Code Collectibles for giving me an opportunity to review this and helping me get it because they only had a few at the table and they said, hey, you need one of these because you definitely need to review it since you're reviewing engine drivers. So definitely excited about that. We then also have from BD15, I got all of their relabeling stuff for my Ultra Zord from the 93 Megazord. I'm super, super excited to be able to relabel this. A full video is going to be coming to how to use these stickers and reapply these and get your 93 Megazord looking pristine with some new stickers, some show accurate labels. It's fantastic. And also, be able to show you how to restore your toys because I've got an Ultra Zord that not only needs new labels, but needs to be de-yellowed. So thank you, BD15. These are gonna come in handy. Next up, I've got an autograph here from a friend of the channel, Jim Kelly, the Taurus JMK. If you are not following this guy on his socials, you need to. He's a wonderful, wonderful human being, and we love him so, so much. So Jim, thank you. This is gonna get framed and put with all my autographs because it's just a beautiful thing. I got to watch him do this edit to make this photo, and I'm very, very excited. When he said, hey, you want one? And I was like, yes, and he knew exactly which one I wanted, um, especially because who is like his, his favorite. So uh, I'm very happy to have that. Next up, we have from my buddy, Kevin Dickerson, AKA Kevlock, one of my amazing TikTok friends and uh, someone I consider a brother. He made this for my daughter. I also have off screen and Omega Blue that he finished for me, um, just for me to have and enjoy. Um, he made this one so I can finish it for my daughter so she can have her own Ranger helmet herself and excited to be able to finish this and give this to her. So Kev, thank you so much. And as if you're in need of a 3D printed helmet kit, go check out Kev Lock on TikTok. He'll take care of you. He does great, great work. Um, kits look beautiful. Very little extra work you need to do to get them ready. We also have from my buddy Justin Gogo MJ on TikTok. He had some extra variant issues that I was missing, so we were able to work out a deal so I could get these and have these so I could finish out my variants that I was missing of Turtles Rangers crossovers. So Thank you, Justin. These have a great home and very excited to have them. Of course, I also, thanks to after my interview, Walter was kind enough to sign my Automorphin Black Ranger from 1993. So this is very exciting. And not only that, I was able to meet David Yost and Yost, David Yost, sorry, and get this one signed as well. So now thanks to that. The only Automorphin I have left next to uh, Yellow Ranger, of course, because we unfortunately cannot get that one signed, is just Austin St. John. And from what I've heard, we have a good shot of Austin St. John being at Ranger Stop Orlando. So definitely happy to see him again and get that taken care of and have my 93 Automorphins as done as I can get them done. Also, thanks to my buddy Gold Ranger, Jason Shepard. He found this while he was in Orlando, knew I was needing it. Um, it's the only one I'm missing now, so I can start working on my reviews for Lightspeed Rescue. But I now have my Lightspeed Rescue Megazord. I can now start working towards getting these videos out and getting reviewed for you. Um, only thing I'm missing is a sword. He definitely needs some relabeled glove, um, but other than that, they're absolutely beautiful and so excited to have these now so uh, I'm filling out some holes and kind of getting my um, early era Power Ranger toys done. And then last but not least you guys have been asking for me to get one so I can review it and Toby Collectibles wouldn't disappoint again they had these at the table um, is 
taking everything in me not to open this and play with it because I got to play with one at the table and guys this this is what zap should be this toy is beautiful it's amazing I know some people had some trouble with them uh, I'm hoping mine doesn't have any problems I haven't looked yet like I said I'm waiting to give you guys a full and honest review uh, in the same time experience that I have it in real time but uh, yeah I now have a zap Astro Megazord and this thing is just so pretty. Just so pretty. I can't wait to wait to open this and, and show you guys because I got to play with one at the table and I didn't realize how big that Zord was until I saw it face to face at the Toku Lectable booth. Now we're on to thank yous um, to Karen, Nikia, Michael. Thank you so much for inviting me back this year. Uh, thank you for letting me bring my family. So they can also kind of enjoy this and see how this works. Um, they don't normally get to see Daddy work on videos and just see just the end results. So thank you for letting them experience it with me. I do also have to give a big thank you to Michael Grotto. I didn't get to shoot any video with him, uh, basically because I was just so, just so excited to spend time with him and talk with him. That I didn't even think about pulling the camera out. So Michael, if you see this, thank you for taking the time and sitting down and talking with me and uh, if you guys don't know Michael Grotto played young Tommy in season three of Power Rangers and he did an amazing job with it. I did get to spend time with Skye um, and talk with her for a little bit and I got to introduce her to my son uh, who is named Jason um, and uh, that's an emotional moment that I didn't record, didn't want it recorded. Um, it's just for my memories and my memories that go on because we all know um, kind of by now how, um, how I feel so uh, I'll keep that one myself but Sky I do want to say thank you for your in an open um, situation to stay in the so. um, then also thank you to all the amazing cosplayers that I get to spend some time with, talk to you, um, after panel, during panel, coming to the table, the ones I got to actually showcase and show off some of their suits and just celebrate what we love cosplay. Um, I know how much work you all put into your costumes because I'm there with you. So thank you for taking time out of your busy con schedule and things you want to do to come sit down and talk with, with this humble nerd. Uh, and then, of course, I have to thank all the actors and actresses that took time to sit down and come on and talk with me. That being David Fielding, Emery Crouch, Brad Hawkins, Walter Jones. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming and talking with me and spending some time with me. And then uh, thank you, Ethan Trace, as well, for coming and uh, talking with me for a little bit. Ethan is an amazing voice actor and deserves all the success that he's gotten um, and where he's progressing. So Ethan, if you see this, thank you um, and uh, know that you made a good impact and kind of showed me some amazing things that can help me go a little bit further. So other than that guys, uh, I will be at Ranger Stock in Orlando. Like I said, dates are November 10th through the 12th uh, at the Hilton Double Tree in Orlando. It is a full ranger convention. It's an amazing show. They last year started adding turtle stock to it as well though, so they can get some turtle fans coming. Um, and that's fine with me because I'm a turtle fan as well. So being able to see ranger stuff and turtle stuff all in place, just a big check mark for me. And of course it's in Orlando in November and it's a comfortable time to be in Orlando when you have that kind of situation going on. So I can't wait to be down there and show you guys that in just a few short months. Thank you again to Michael, Karen, Nakia, Catherine Sutherland, um, to all the other actors and actresses that I didn't get to record but spend time with. Um, it was fantastic to meet you, Roy Travis, Steve Cardenas, um, Mr. Loudermilk, uh, sorry my brain is going away, Sierra, Dan Southworth. Um, Goldberg, 
uh, from uh, if you guys know the Mighty Ducks, you know Goldberg, um, Aaron Cahill, Barbara Goodson. Oh, uh, David Fielding, thank you for coming, letting me interview you real quick off the fly. Um, that was fantastic to uh, spend time with you. Uh, Anne Marie, uh, again, thank you. You're just a wonderful human being and just a, a great person to spend time with. Um, Michael Grotto, again, thank you. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't give me a thumbs down, it's okay. I like the feedback. I uh, enjoy either way. Let's me know what I'm doing and give me a comment down below of what you feel, what you'd like to see more when I do these shows. Um, if it's more uh, actor and actress based, or if it's going to be more cosplay based, or um, more product based, just let me know um, because I want to make these enjoyable for everybody, and I'm trying to do a little bit for each person. So, uh, with that being said, uh, it's time to go wrap this up, go to bed. Uh, and uh, kind of go back into the real world for a little bit. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Remember, the power will always protect you. Have fun whether it's playing, collecting, cosplaying, or talking to your favorite actor and actress. Get to a con and have some fun. Peace.